Okay, well, welcome everybody <laughs> to the 30 day challenge. I am so excited about this challenge. I have just gone ahead and taken my before photos and enrolled in the ice body challenge tonight. So you guys wanna make sure that tonight you take your photos unless you're already enrolled in an ice body challenge. Um, you can just continue with that like mom's already enrolled in one. So this is gonna be part of her four month period. So if you haven't enrolled in one, I really suggest you do one because you're gonna get the $200 free gift certificate, which we love. And Sarah, do you wanna share briefly about how that helped your family? The $200 coupon? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, just, I just, my coupon arrived in my back office about four days ago and I was able to get an extra bag of shake and two Vortex Pro Mixers, one for my husband who uses it, who needed something like that, that was USB charged to use in his truck. And I got the diffuser. All is just special gifts. Yeah. That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. So, you know, for you guys who are watching the video and might be, you know, at work right now or might um, not be able to sit on this call for any reason whatsoever, the, the ISA Body Challenge is a group that is all about encouraging you on your goals. When I first got started, I was posting in the Facebook group. So you can go Isobody Challenge uh, Canada on Facebook. And there is a whole group that you can join and you can put your stories in there. So in the morning, you can wake up and just say, hey, day one of my 30 day challenge. And you will not only have so much encouragement, but other people saying, hey, I'm on a 30 day as well. Let's do this together. Let's keep accountable. And like post in that group because you know what the ice body challenge um, is being monitored by ice body canada so they're going to watch in that group to see if you're contributing to see if you're a part of the community and if you do get a great transformation or they do think that you are possibly finalist material they're gonna go on that if you have been contributing to that group so when i first got started in isogenics i was told if you want to win some money for your transformation make sure that you guys are part of that group because it's really important to be part of the community as a leader and other people that are in isogenics community in canada to watch your transformation over this period of time to not only see your accountability but see how you influence other people as a leader um so that when you do win the finalist which is three thousand dollars and you do win the grand prize which is ten thousand dollars they might even want you to become because you've been such a great leader and such encouraging and posting on other people's things is so important to you guys because this is a community about encouraging other people, not only yourself, but when you give gratitude and that gratitude comes back to you, when you give positivity out, that positivity comes back to you. So this is a place where you want to make sure you post on other people's. Plus you can do this in our team page on health for life. When other people are posting about you know, what's your favorite shake or what's your favorite bar or, you know, anything like that. Or maybe they post their before and after photos. It's a great place to encourage other people because we want to raise that vibration and give that positivity. So that comes with a $200 free gift certificate that you can use on any kind of products. Like Sarah said, it doesn't have to be products that um, like a shake or a cleanse. It can be a diffuser. It can be a blender, whatever you want to use it for. And you, even we have a beautiful skincare line. Um, right now, but there might be another one launching very soon. So that might be something you're interested in. So um, just keep that in mind. Now, the 30 day challenge, if you've got your box in front of you, what you're going to be looking for are your four bags of shake. Okay. So this would be your whole blend shake. And what you're going to do is you're going to start by having, and you might want to get a pad and paper and write this down. So the challenge is going to consist of your choice of one or two shakes a day, okay? So if you're just getting started and you just are, are willing to commit to one shake a day, that's great. It's gonna make you have incredible benefits in your body. But if you're looking for a great transformation and you're looking for weight loss or you're looking to put on some lean muscle, you definitely wanna commit to two shakes a day. So what that's gonna look like is you're gonna get your blender or your isogenic blender or your bullet or whatever you have at home, you're gonna add four large ice cubes and one cup of water. Okay, now if you wanna make it thicker or you wanna add fruit to it or you wanna add other things, just remember low glycemic fruit is best. Tropical fruit is gonna be more sugar 
and it's going to raise your calories. So these shakes are designed with a very low glycemic index using honey and molasses only. Okay. And a little bit of stevia in those shakes. So remember that if you're adding bananas and tropical fruit, you're adding more calories to that. Okay. So if your goal is to lose weight, you want to keep your calories low. There's nothing wrong with adding berries, um, like a half a cup of berries or something like that to your shake is not going to be very much sugar. It's going to be some nice antioxidants. It's going to add some more fiber and some interest to your shake. But if you want to make a smoothie bowl, you can make four large ice cubes in your blender and just a little bit less water. So you just want those ice cubes to just kind of be hitting the water line there. And you blend that thing really, really good. It's going to sound like your blender's going to break. So it's going to go like, and then when it makes that weird sound, then it should be done. And you should see the color of your shake really get nice and thick. You're going to want a spatula to scoop that all out into a smoothie bowl. And you can top it with a few berries, um, half a banana or something like that. Today, I use two strawberries and a little bit of sprinkles, like some seeds, some chia seeds, whatever you want to put on top. Also, just a reminder, cinnamon is also really, really great. It lowers your blood uh, sugars, and it's also great for people who want to balance their hormones, okay? So I actually love putting cinnamon on my smoothie bowls. Um, it's really great to incorporate. Just remember to stir it in if you can or mix it in because you don't want to get that caught in the back of your throat. I did that today, and it wasn't pretty. So um, what you're going to do is, let's say you're starting your day, okay? Okay. So if you guys want, I can send you another video on this, but you can write this down or you can get your guide open. If you've gotten started, you've been given a guide when you get started. And in that guide, you're going to look for how to rock a shake day. Okay. So that shake day should start out with in the morning when you rise up, you can take a one ounce of your Ionic Supreme. Okay. Now, if you have really poor sleep habits, like I did when I got started, you're going to shift your Ionic Supreme to the nighttime for your first two weeks and see how you do with that. Okay, so one ounce of your Ionic Supreme, make sure once you open it, you put it in the fridge because you don't want it to be exposed to, um, like it's got things in it that can turn with the heat. So you wanna put it in the fridge and you wanna keep it in there. So either morning or night. Now remember, morning is fine to look at computer screens and phone screens is actually gonna help to reduce your stress levels, give you sharp mental clarity, make you feel good. But if you take it at nighttime, you have to remember you take it right before you go to bed and it's lights out, go to bed. Okay. You do not want to be looking at the screen, the blue light screen from your phone or your computer or the TV screen. Okay. If you're one of these people that has a computer that they're on until all hours of the night, you really want to keep that in mind. Jason, I see you smiling over there. You really want to keep this in mind that sleep is so key for your transformation because if you don't go into a deep REM cycle, your body is not going to be burning fat, okay? It's too much stress on the body and you will release cortisol and you will be releasing the melatonin and melatonin helps to lose fat, okay? So deep REM cycle equals fat loss. So if you're looking for that transformation like I am, or you know my mom's going for, or Jason's going for, or Sarah's going for, you know, then you definitely wanna make sure that you get that deep sleep, okay? So that means after you take your Ionic Supreme, do not look at a blue light screen because that blue light will stimulate the adaptogens like a sun will in the morning. If you're going to take it for energy in the morning, the sun makes the adaptogens in your body light up and then you're going to have abundant energy. So I had a call from a friend of mine, Sadie. She got her mom started on the products for the first time. And uh, Sadie's mom was up till two, three o'clock in the morning because she took the adaptogens at night and was probably looking at a blue light screen. And this happened to me when I first got started, you guys. So just keep it in mind, you know, no Jason scrolling after you take your out of Supreme. And if you do, I, I turned on my uh, blue, blue light filters on everything. So I'm okay. Well, it's still the light, <laughs> but that, still, I still don't the light. So this it. is the yeah, thing that you know, we think we're going to, we're going to wind down. So just remember you guys for this 30 days, try to have really good habits. Okay. I'm just as guilty as this. I, I sent Sarah TikTok videos at probably one o'clock in the morning of dogs that are tapping their little tail and it makes us laugh. And so we, we all do this. Okay. But the thing for these 30 days is we're really trying to incorporate good habits so we can reset our body. Okay. So try before bed, 
picking up a book and reading just for 10 minutes. Okay, so use your, your little side lamp table or whatever, you know, your night light or whatever, read for 10 minutes and just wind down or shut all technology off one hour before bed. That's a great thing. Um, I'm not sure how guys feel about bu bubble baths, but if you can have a nice hot bubble bath and put some essential oils in there or whatever to like wind down, light some candles and then go to bed and do it as like a bedtime routine for yourself. You know, we want to establish good positive routines in our, in our life so that we can get the good um, balance of work and play and also self-care time. Okay, so that's enough about that. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to get ready for your day. So in the morning, if, if you're taking your Ionic Supreme shot in the morning, you're going to get up, take it before you brush your teeth, get, get your day started, go in the shower, have your shower, brush your teeth, wash your face, do whatever you want get ready. And then you're going to go and make your shake. Okay. So when you're making your shake, you're going to have one comfort and one accelerator in the morning. If you um, have digestive issues, you can take it in the morning. And then again, before bed, um, what I like to do with my accelerator is I love to give myself a kick in the morning. So I'll take my accelerator in the morning and then I'll take my accelerator again in the evening meal. Okay. You can do this. Let's say you take your accelerator in the afternoon and your evening meal. Now, if you have very sensitive digestive issues right now, where any kind of spices are bothering you, you may want to move your evening meal, um, uh, uh, accelerator into the morning and take it with the comfort both times. Okay. If you're somebody who has issues with constipation, yes, this is a real thing. We're talking real issues here you might want to have two comforts together before you go to bed and not through the rest of the day. Okay. Because that's going to help you to get things kicking. Remember that this system, you need to drink water. If you are not drinking water, you possibly could run into some issues with, uh, problems in the bathroom. Okay. So you definitely want to make sure you realize the amount of nutrients that are in these shakes are like eating a dining room table full of nutrients those minerals and those vitamins sometimes come as a shock to people's systems that are eating before so much processed foods. So at the dinner table, you know, if you were eating a whole bunch of salad and you never ate salad before your stomach might have some adjustments to that. Okay. So you need to drink some water. And then also remember, this is a new nutrient dense meal that you are putting in your body that you might not be used to. So make sure that you're flooding your body with lots of water through the day. Try to drink your half of your body weight in ounces of water. Okay. If you don't know how to do that, just measure yourself, cut your weight in half. And that's the amount of, amount of ounces. One cup of water is eight ounces. Okay. So that's one cup. So you can do the math, but that's the, that's what you need to be doing throughout the day. Now, if you have a really hard time with drinking water, um, I know sometimes people do. One thing is a really great tip to losing weight fast is green tea. If you are a person that is in a hot climate right now and green tea is hard for you to drink because it's hot, you can make green tea in a big um, pot and then you can put it in the fridge and drink it as cold tea. And then you can just add a little bit of like maybe half of one of your hydrates. If you don't have hydrates and you want to take a look at that, you can get a lemon lime hydrate and add half of that. And then it turns into like a iced green tea that's sweetened without any calories at all. And it tastes really good. So I would suggest you guys can take a look at that. You can use any kind of tea out there, but remember if you put green tea in it, you're going to be boosting your metabolism. Okay. So this is really good. It's an antioxidant. It's an anti-inflammatory and it's really good for being able to flush toxins through the body. You can have this green tea on a cleanse day and you can have it on a shake day. But when, if you really want to get serious and losing weight, incorporate as much green tea into your shake days and cleanse days as possible. And you're going to be hydrating yourself. This is one thing I did, which brings me to cutting out coffee. I know everybody's going to look at me and smile right now or this face. <laughs> Cutting out coffee is huge for your results. Caffeine um, in the green tea is different than the caffeine that's in the coffee. Okay. You also need to remember that 
um, the wrong kinds of caffeine are also going to what? Spike your cortisol levels, which sends your fat burning hormone out the window again. So too much caffeine is not good. The tea, the tea, the green tea caffeine, it's a different type of caffeine. So like I said, the coffee is also going to probably have, if you're not drinking like really high quality organic coffee, like from Isogenics that has green tea and coconut infused into it, coconut oils to lower your acid levels, coffee and uh, the acid, and then the pesticides, there is 85 different types of pesticides sprayed on coffee. So you remember the reason why you're starting this is to get the toxins out of your body. So in the meantime, if you're downloading 85 different types of pesticides at the same time you're trying to do a cleanse day, it's not as beneficial. So you, you don't have to cut it out. But like I said, if you really want great results, try either limiting your coffee to once a day, uh, one cup, even decaf will be very beneficial. That's organic. That's fine. But if you really can try to just eliminate it for this 30 days and just see how your body feels. Remember acid makes the body react with inflammatory issues. Um, it grows cancer, I'm not saying that you have can't like, you know, that that's the issue with you, but you want to eliminate the acid. So if you have issues with acid reflux, problems with acidic, um, issues in your body, then you definitely want to eliminate any kinds of acids. Okay. This is going to bring me to the next 10 foods that you want to try to eliminate. We went over this um, on a call the other night, but if you're watching this recording and you're doing the 30 day cleanse, try to eliminate corn, soy, dairy products. If you can, um, meats that are not grass fed, um, sugar, if you can cut that out. Remember like fruit juices are very bad for the body. You need to remember that like the fruit juices have probably 10 different types of like, like 10 oranges, whole oranges squeezed into one glass to make that juice. That is a lot of sugar, you guys. So even processed juices, all that kind of stuff, you want to cut that out. Okay. Um, uh, what are the other 10 foods that we talked about? Aspartame. So if you're thinking, okay, well, I'm going to go and have a diet Coke instead of a regular Coke, that aspartame is toxic to your body. And I would highly suggest that you switch away from that. If you love bubbly soda drinks, go get yourself a soda stream, go get yourself some bubbly and add some hydrate to it. Okay. And, and use that. You can even use bubbly on your cleanse days. Okay. Or soda streams on your cleanse days and mix your cleanse into the bubbly soda water. Okay. Or soda water, is that right? Yeah. Soda water. Yeah. So um, if, if you're a carbonated person and you just really love that, there's other ways that you can make that work for yourself. And I'm not saying that you need to have like no fun on this. This is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be yummy. It's supposed to be enjoyable, but try to make conscious choices. So it helps to reset things in your life and give you a path to walk on that will give you success and to give your body the best well-being. That's what this whole thing is about. Weight is a side effect of well, un unwellness in the body. Okay. So we want to get you back on track and, and healthy habits. Okay. So, um, step number two, after your morning shake, after you've blended that up, you're going to make a smoothie bowl. You're going to make a shake. I would suggest that one day a week you make something fun. Okay. So pick a day, maybe Wednesdays are your day off. Maybe Sundays are your day off. Make waffles, make pancakes, go online into our, um, health for life group and just Google on the side or like search on the side of the health group waffle recipe or pancakes or whatever. And you're going to find a ton of recipes that come up. Now, these are also in your, your well, welcome guide that you got started on. And they're also all available on isogenics, pancakes, isogenics, waffles on Google. So if you can't find it or just private message me or private message, the person who invited you to this challenge, but remember, pick a day that's fun for you. If you love your smoothie bowls every day and you love doing that and that's your favorite thing, that's great because you're keeping that nutrition raw. That is so good for your digestive system, okay? If you cook it, you're losing your enzymes and you're losing some of your minerals and stuff. But however, we have to be practical. And if your family's having a waffle morning on Sunday, do it enjoy it, make it part of your lifestyle, but use your isogenics protein powder for that. It's going to fill you up. It's going to give you six waffles from just one, two scoops of powder and the ingredients that you use in that. So it's, it's, it's like 
huge and you're you're going to stay on track okay the whole point of this is to stay on track okay so next you're going to have your lunch again if you want you can have your accelerator then or your comfort then at that time um and then um and that's a shake again or a smoothie bowl or whatever you want to make with that and then at dinner you're just going to have a healthy balanced meal now in your guide you're going to see that one palm size is going to be the size of meat that you're going to have the palm not the whole hand but the palm of your hand and the thickness of your hand is about the amount of protein meat proteins that you're wanting or if you're plant-based plant-based proteins that you're going to want to have at your meal you're going to have one fistful of complex carbohydrates now if you're going to do this and you want to lower your inflammatory markers and keep your body less infl inflamed you want to eradicate um, simple carbs white flour potatoes white rice and switch from eating potatoes to sweet potatoes okay simple switch you can barbecue sweet potatoes with like thai peanut sauce on them and it's incredible okay there's so many different recipes mom you have one about making um like a taco out of a sweet potato do you want to tell them about that yeah taco um you know meat or veggie protein whatever you want you can put a little bit of sour cream cream guacamole sour cream sour cream <laughs> <laughs> and uh <laughs> You know, cut a sweet potato in half and just put all those ingredients on and serve it with a side salad. There you go. So that's a really, yeah, Sarah, you want to add? I just, I just made yesterday and today sweet potato brownies and you can do it with, uh, that you could use the chocolate protein for that as can a substitute. Can you post that in the health for Yeah, life? it's that really good. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, it sounds great. I want to try that. So here's some great ideas, you guys, is that you can still enjoy brownies you can still enjoy um you know protein balls we've got re great recipes i've actually got a chocolate protein ball recipe that's like a brownie bite it tastes like little brownie bites and it's all raw <clears throat> right so just remember there's tons of different ways google has so many recipes but just simply shift what you were doing tonight we had chili and instead of having white rice because i'm already started on my my challenge technically the challenge starts tomorrow because we're doing the kickoff call right now but tonight I, we make quinoa instead of having rice with our chili. So we just moved from eating white rice, which we normally were gonna cook, to having a red quinoa and a side salad, okay? So it's very simple things. It doesn't mean you gotta not eat chili and not have fun and eat cardboard, no. You wanna make this really great for yourself. And the thing that I will suggest to you guys is that if you are having one meal a day, really think about that meal. You know, be like, I'm excited about this meal I get to have later. I'm excited that I only have to do dishes once today. I'm excited that I get to pick something really fun and make it yummy, like super yummy, and then really enjoy that. So then you're creating this habit of like, yeah, tonight the family's going to have this and tonight the family's going to have that, or we're going to enjoy this meal that is going to be my one meal of the day, but I get to put, put extra effort into it because I'm only doing one meal a day now, right? Like actually like making it. So, um, so that's a really good thing. Okay. And then at uh, the evening, like I said, if you guys are going to do your comfort, you can have your comfort. Then some people like to have one in the morning, one at night. Some people like to have their comfort during the day at meals and your accelerator at meals. There's no wrong way to do it. Just take it what works best for Don't you take accelerator at that time. mom has issues with um has has had previous issues with heartburn so if people that have heartburn you do not want to take the accelerator in the evening because it's got chilies in it okay so move that to earlier in the day and take it with the comfort like we said before but that's a definitely awake yeah and it can keep some of some people awake who are extra extra energetic <laughs> okay so for me, I had no problems doing this, but like I said, make it work for you. The whole point, this is very simple, is get the products in the hole of your mouth, okay? Put them in. If you have an extra, oh, by the way, you can have snacks, okay? So healthy snacks that are options. Let's all go around and share one. So um, I love pickles and I love boiled eggs, okay? So you can take a boiled egg, cut it in half. I love sprinkling some cayenne pepper, a little pinch of sea salt and eating it with a pickle. That's a simple snack 
and it's super easy. It's got protein in it. It's got things I love. I love eating pickles. They're really, really good because um, it helps with uh, muscle cramping. It's got potassium in it. So what's a healthy snack for you? I like taking a slice of lean um, sandwich meat and putting uh, a piece of cheese and a piece of pickled asparagus and rolling it up. Ooh, I actually did that today. Super good. Nice. All right, Sarah, do you have a good snack? Uh, like a late night go-to if I want something sweet or I haven't had, no, I haven't had a lot of carbs in the day, good carbs, complex carbs. Um, the Dollarama has brown rice cakes that are smaller than the normal rice cake. Yeah. So I just take one of those and it's like 50 calories and I just put like a healthy nut butter on it. Yeah. And sometimes if I want a little extra, I'll put a little bit of banana on it. Nice. Great. That's a good one. I also do that same thing with, um, uh, I do berries. I've done berries on that or I'll do hummus and, um, some like red pepper slices or something on that. So you can mix it up. You guys make it, make it however you want. Jason, do you have a good healthy snack you want to add? No, I don't have any good snacks. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I, I'm working and, on it. Hey, what about one from the kit? Okay. So if you got your pack that has the whey thins in it, you can have a package of whey thins. That's a healthy snack. You can have a half a bar for a healthy snack. You can have an ice of del uh, an ice of delight and some berries. Those are really good for craving um, uh, cravings. So mm -hmm. berries and chocolate together, superfoods together. Those two things together combined are incredible for curbing cravings. Okay. Um, celery and some peanut butter. Just remember when you're doing peanut butters or nut butters. You want to make sure that you're keeping it not out of control. Okay. So don't get a jar of peanut butter and just grab, you know, tablespoons of peanut butter with your celery stick and eat one celery <laughs> stick and four tablespoons of peanut butter. Cause that's super, super high in fat. Okay. Remember also peanuts can be inflammatory. So you may want to shift it from peanut butter to almonds. Okay. Almond butter is a really great choice and it's less inflammatory because peanuts are actually a fungus, uh, considered a fungus rather than a nut. So they're, they're like a root, they're growing under the ground and they have lots of fungus on them. So you'd want to make sure that you can shift that to sunflower, um, butter. You can do, um, cashew butter. You could do almond butter, but, um, just keep that in mind that if you are going to do it, just make sure it's like a tablespoon instead of eating like but four of those. Okay. So, um, if you want specific snacks, say you want something cheesy, say you want something salty, say you want something sour or something spicy in your welcome guide, there is so many snack options for you all laid out for you for any different types of cravings, crunchy, salty, savory, whatever. There's a whole bunch of them there for you guys. So if you don't know what to do, Jason, use your guide. If you don't know if your friends or somebody who's mentioning this to you, they don't know what to do because they're new at this, suggest them to, to use the guide and to go and find what they need. Okay. Now let's move over into, have I left anything out for our shake day? I don't think so. We touched on everything. I think so. Okay. So now we're going to move into your cleanse days. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to have four solid shake days before you move into your cleanse day. The reason for this is isogenics is all about flooding your body with the nutrition, not depleting it. Okay. So we want to make sure we are so built up with lots of minerals, lots of nutrients before our body goes into a deficit. Okay. Now on your day. So we're going to start tomorrow. So day one would be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So Monday might not be a good cleanse day for you because it might be your first day of work, going back to work or something. So if in your case, uh, a Saturday would be better or a Sunday would be better, um, I would suggest going through a week first and then doing your cleanse day on the Saturday, okay? Now, if that doesn't work out for you and you really want to do like four days or three days, three days should be fine. Um, you know, it's cutting it a little bit close. Five days or six days is ideal because you're really flooding your body with nutrition. But for me, I started and I did four days and then I did two back-to-back -back cleanse days, okay? So if you're really wanting to get your human growth hormone, 
you want to release that, that is great for people wanting to build muscle. So if you're watching this and you want to build muscle, do a single or a double cleanse day because that human growth hormone is going to be released and that's great for building muscle. It's also great for uh, youthfulness. So if you're looking to have a youthful transformation, releasing that human growth hormone is super key. Um, if you're looking to lose a lot of weight and you want to have those results quickly, double cleansing is going to help you with that, okay? But if you've never done a cleanse before and this is your first time and you're just like, oh my gosh, I can't even imagine not eating for 24 hours, okay? So the cleanse day starts the night before you go to bed, okay? So you're going to have your last meal, you're going to wind down, and then you're going to be digesting that food over a period of time in the night, okay? So technically, sorry, your cleanse day doesn't start in the night. It starts in the morning of the next day because your body isn't really finished eating and digesting that food until the next, it's going to take a couple hours for the getting out of your stomach, but in your digestive system, that's when it's going to be still technically being fed. So day one is the morning after your shake day. Okay. So you're going to get up, you're going to take your cleanse for for life number or sorry, your ionic supreme either in the morning or again in the night. So that's going to stay the same. Then you're going to take your comfort and your accelerator and you're going to have your first cleanse drink. Now, if you have a bottle of liquid, you're going to use four ounces of that, that cleanse drink. Now, what I would suggest just as a, a suggestion to you is in the morning when you wake up and you have your ionic supreme and you go into the shower or something like that, I would suggest have your Iron Supreme and then come out of the shower and, uh, or in the morning when you do that, have a glass of water. Okay. Hydrate yourself. Then go and do, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Then go and do your, 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 um, activities, your shower, blah, blah, blah. But make sure you drink your Ionic Supreme and have it with a glass of water. So you're, you're flooding nutrients in your body with, uh, hydration. You want to hydrate your digestive system before every morning. So this would be a great thing is what I love to do is I keep a glass of water on my nightstand. And then as soon as I wake up in the morning, I drink that water down as I'm like getting out of bed. I know it sounds kind of weird, but you want to make sure you are hydrated through every process of this. Okay. It's so, so important. It's going to eliminate a lot of um, any kind of digestive discomfort for, for getting used to the products. And it's also going to help to, to your detoxification process on your cleanse day. So hydration is key. So in the morning, wake up, drink a glass of water, go and take your Ionic Supreme, get ready for your day. And then just like a shake day, you're going to have, instead of a shake, you're going to have a cleanse. So this is two scoops of your cleanse powder, not the scoops that come in your shake bags. Okay, so I had a question with a lady one time. She goes, the shake bag scoop? I'm like, no, you'd be pouring a lot of that cleanse powder into your system and it would empty your container. So inside of your little cleanse container, there's a tiny little scoop. You're going to add two of those scoops to some, some water. You can do this as a tea. I just suggest you don't do boiling water because it will cook all the ingredients, natural ingredients that are in there. Warm water is fine and drink it sort of like a, like a warm tea in the morning. If it's cold for you and you're just like, I can't drink any cold liquids in the morning. That's great. Now, if it's hot because it's summertime right now in our country, if you're in Australia or New Zealand, you're watching this recording, it might be fall for you. Okay. So you definitely would probably want something warm, but you can mix it into eight ounces or 12 ounces of water, whatever you like. Remember, it's just about getting the products in your mouth. Okay. So if it's a little bit too sweet for you, uh, great. If it's a, add some water to it, if it's a little bit, uh, too weak, you can add less and make it stronger. So I want to touch on one thing that's really important. If you've never done something like this before, and you've never, uh, cleansed before, and you've never done anything like, um, a fast before, um, you definitely want to go to your welcome guide and read through the cleanse section where it talks about detoxification process. Okay. Cause there are some side effects in there or symptoms that you might have because you are very acidic. Okay. So number one, if you go to take your Ionic Supreme and it's making you a little bit nauseous, do not worry. It's just showing you that you're very acidic. Okay. So I've had people call me up and say, I got sick 
And I actually lost my cookies on my first cleanse day because um, they were so acidic. So if this is you and you were trying to drink the cleanse and it's making you nauseous, um, don't worry. That's a normal reaction for so many people. What I would suggest you do is sip on it slowly and not just gulp it down. Okay. Sip on your cleanse slowly. The Ionic Supreme can also do this because it alkalizes your body. If you really are having trouble struggling for your first cleanse day, go out to your blender, throw in four large ice cubes, four ounces of your liquid or two scoops of your powder and one cup of water and blend that like an ice drink. Okay. The reason is, is the cold, cold, cold uh, slushy, which is going to come out of that. You can eat it with a spoon and it's going to help you to be able to swallow it down. Okay. Now, most of this taste is delicious. Once you go through your first cleanse day, especially if you're having your shakes for the first time and you're like, these shakes are just not what I expected. They're not as sweet as I thought they were going to be. You know, they're a little bit like boring. I've had people say that to me. They taste terrible until I say, just wait until your first cleanse day. Because you have to remember if you've been on a steady diet of soda, McDonald's, um, you know, Doritos, uh, eating a lot of processed foods, hot dogs, hamburgers, you know, all these different types of things that are very acidic and you go and put something that's alkaline into your body, you're going to think it doesn't taste very good. Okay. In fact, I can guarantee you're going to feel like it doesn't taste very good for your first shake. You're going to be like, this is not what I expected. I thought it was going to be sweeter or whatever. After your first cleanse day, your palate is also going to be detoxified. Your brain pathways and your neural pathways and your gut is going to be cleansed and ready for food. And the, when you have your first shake or your cleanse drink after that, it is going to taste amazing. Guarantee you, this actually happened to me the other day. I hadn't done a cleanse day or had um, any kind of like cleaning of my palate in a while. And I had had some Coke. I had a little bit of Coca-Cola. And when I went to have my shake the next morning, I was like, this doesn't taste good. And it was because my palate was so used to the amount of sugar that I was drinking from this Coca-Cola over the weekend that the shake didn't taste good. So remember that you guys, when you're resetting your palate, don't worry, just keep going with the system, give it a chance. And I guarantee you after your first cleanse day, it's going to be amazing. So cleanse day schedule, you're going to want to pull that out. Now we're going to look at it. So morning ionic Supreme, um, glass of water. You can take your comfort, your accelerator. When you take your cleanse, your first cleanse, and you're going to have four of these a day. They're laid out in your schedule. And in between that, you want to make sure, this is another tip, have your cleanse on an empty stomach. It takes half an hour for your stomach to really empty of any fluids. So if you've had a water in your shower or anything like that, make sure it's like half an hour out from your first cleanse. And you want to have your cleanse on an empty stomach. The reason is, is because the potency for it to be able to affect you, it's got aloe in it, it's got peppermint in it, it's got burdock in it. It's got all these things that are going to help to soothe your digestive system and heal it. But if you're watering that down with like tea and coffee and a big gallon of water, you're not going to get the same effects of that nutrients and that healing that's going to help take place for your gut as well as your organs. So before uh, 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after, do not have any liquids during that time. Okay. Now you're going to do this four times a day. So morning, say that like you get up at eight o'clock, you're going to have your first cleanse. Then you're going to have 30 minutes to an hour or two. You can have your first snack. Now in there, you can have your chewables that you're going to come in your kit. And in there, you're also going to see a cleanse tracker guide. Okay. So your tracker guide allows you to pick and choose whatever cleanse set, set snacks or support snacks that you want. Just remember, you need to keep it under 10. Okay, so 10 and under, right? So say you're going to have a couple chewables. I think that's like one or two points or one point or something like that. And then you want to have an Isa Delight. That's going to be two points. So you're going to have some way thins. That's going to be three points. So now you're already up to six points. You want to make sure that you use your points throughout the day in between your cleanse drinks. Okay, so maybe you have um, a snack bite. You're going to have one of those or an Isa Delight, have it with a cup of green tea 
I guarantee you, if you have it with a cup of green tea, green tea curbs your cravings. It helps the detoxification process. And it's going to um, just give you a fuller stomach. So you're going to not feel so hungry. Okay. So this is another key on your cleanse days. Drink lots of water. It's going to keep your stomach full. Okay. If you're hungry, go and have, if you're like seriously going to eat your arm, go and eat a nice delight. It's got minerals in it. That's going to curb your cravings. The snack bites are going to curb your cravings. The whey thins are going to curb your cravings and it's going to keep your blood sugar regulated. If you're a diabetic and you're somebody that is doing this for the first time, do consult your doctor because it will help you, but you should be able to do this with the cleanse support snacks to keep your blood sugar regulated. And then in the evening again, after you've had, so that eight o'clock and then like say 11 o'clock, you're going to have your first snack. And then say one o'clock, you're going to have another cleanse. And then three o'clock or four o'clock, you're going to have another cleanse. And then uh, eight o'clock or seven o'clock, you're going to have another cleanse. So you just space it out throughout your day, you know, and then keep it, um, you know, have the last one before you go to bed. And if you have your Ionic Supreme, then, then you can take your Ionic Supreme then, and then as well as your accelerator and your comforts. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys all. You have your cleanse guide in front of you and you can follow along with that. Um, and some hot tips for you guys. Number one, you might be feeling very cold on your cleanse days. Even if it's summertime, you might feel like you've got a chill or something, or you've got a headache, or you're not feeling very well. And it's your first one ever. You have a little shot inside of some of your packs called an e-shot. Okay. So if you got a basic pack, you would have a sample. You should have a sample in one of those for uh, an e-shot. And you can take that on the moment that you're feeling like really, really gnarly throughout your day. So maybe by about like three o'clock in the afternoon or one o'clock in the afternoon, you're feeling like garbage. Okay. You're really like, Oh, I just feel like I just want to lay down and sleep. And you just need to kick that feeling of detoxing, have your e-shot then it's okay. And it's cleanse approved. All right. So this is what I did on my first cleanse day. I had, uh, <laughs> she's falling asleep on me. She's so tired. Um, I had a, um, problem on my first cleanse day. I was feeling really, really bad. So my girlfriend gave me one E shot and I was ready to go do a workout right after that. Okay. Need e yeah. Mom needs an E shot right now, but she's been working really hard on, on a big project all day long. So it's, it's eight o'clock for us here. So, um, tip number two, if you're feeling cold, it means you're burning fat throw on an extra sweater, throw on a jacket or have a hot bath. Remember your cleanse day. Think of it like a pamper day. Okay. So ladies, men go and have a hot bath with some bubble bath before bed, you know, put some lavender oil on, put some comfy pajamas on. You know what I mean? Like watch a movie, whatever you need to do. And if you're really um, struggling to get through it, just go to bed. Okay. But if it's at like five o'clock and you're like your whole family's eating and you smell food and it's just pouring in your nostrils and you're going to lose your mind, grab an ice of delight or grab a e shot or grab a snack, grab a glass of water, or water bottle and go out of the house, go for a walk, just a gentle walk around the neighborhood for an hour. Okay. So I've coached a lot of people on this before, um, hundreds of people over the last two and a half years. And the reason why I'm saying these things is because they're tips that will help you to get through the first cleanse day is going to be the hardest. After that, it's going to get way easier and you're going to find abundant energy when you wake up. So now let's say we've made it through day one, the first cleanse day and you want to finish and you want to break your cleanse on your next day. Okay. If you're going to do a two day, you just repeat the, the, the same thing for your second day. Now we're on the Monday after your one or your two day, or sorry, the, the morning after your one or your two day. Okay. You need to make sure you break your cleanse with a shake. This is so important. You might be smelling bacon from your family. You might go, Oh my gosh, I can't handle this. I got to have the bacon. Remember if you want to eat a piece of bacon, you can still do that. Just make sure you have a cleanse first or a, a shake first. Okay. The reason is, is you are training your body to go for nutrients and over calories. If you go and flood your body with bacon fat after you've done a cleanse, not only are you going to have some issues in the bathroom, but you're also going to feel like garbage. 
Okay. Because bacon is not going to flood your body with nutrients after I know I'm going to stop that. Stop that face. <laughs> you need, you're supposed to be helping me here. <laughs> bacon flavored shakes. Bacon flavored shakes. Bring it up to Jim and Kathy. I'm sure they would just love to hear that. <laughs> Maybe we can incre- like make a bacon bite. Bacon, maple bacon. Maple bacon bite. Waythins. Anyways, so here's what you want to do. Go and make your shake. Okay. If you still must have your piece of bacon, eat it after you've had your shake for a snack. Just incorporate it into your snack. It might be half a piece of bacon or a piece of bacon or whatever. But if that's what you want for your 100 calorie snack, then have it. There's a little app out there called Noom for a lot of people. And it shows you the difference between a huge plate of veggies or fruit or whatever versus a tiny stick of bacon. If you want to have that bacon over the big plate of vegetables, you go ahead and have that. But remember, if you're hungry afterwards, that's it right? Until your next cleanse or your next shake, right? So remember, go for, if you're a quantity person and you are like somebody who likes to binge eat, fill your fridge full of chopped celery, chopped um, cucumbers, chopped up um, broccoli and cauliflower that's raw and keep it in a big Tupperware box. You can go to the dollar store and get a Tupperware box um, in the, like the organization aisle. This is what I do. I fill the bottom of the box with um, ice cubes and I chop up a ton of vegetables and I put carrot sticks and celery and um, cucumbers and broccoli and cauliflower. And I do them all in different types of sections. I put the lid on and the, it, the, the ice cubes as they melt, keep the veggies super crisp and super crunchy. And as the water melts, you can keep it in there and it'll keep your um, vegetables nice and, and hydrated and then make up a nice healthy dip for yourself hummus or you can get another tip you can do is um uh you can get zero fat yogurt or one percent yogurt you don't want to have it like 11 percent fat yogurt because the calories are so high like the greek yogurt you can get greek plain yogurt if you can get that which is like a lower you don't want super super high in fat so just keep that in mind and just plain and you can go and get um some epicure seasonings you can get some Um, You can get even a pack of uh, French onion soup from the store at like Lipton's if you want and put it in there. Just watch your MSGs and added salts and stuff like that. But you can put dill in there. I use um, for myself, I make my own. So I put dill, I put um, garlic and onion powder. I put some salt and pepper in there and I mix it up and I make my own dip. And then you can dip that in the Greek yogurt, which is really, really good for you as far as probiotics go but no sugar added. Okay. So that's really, really important. That sound good. So those are some tips for you guys that you can have. Um, if you're doing these big cravings and different types of things like that, like Sarah said, she's going to post her brownie recipe in the health for life group. So you guys keep your eye on the health for life group. It's got a ton of recipe options for you guys and fun little tips and tricks. Um, and you can even have some celery and vegetables with a packet of weight thins you know, celery is not going to be bad for you. It's what you add to it that you want to watch. Okay. So if I missed anything else out, um, make sure you get some sleep, you know, uh, get a good sleep, get some exercise. That's something I missed out on. Now, um, what is a great way of getting exercise without stressing your body out in this first 30 days, you might be already in the gym doing a workout. You do not need to change your workouts. I'm going to repeat that. Do not change your workout. The reason I'm saying this to you right now is because it will cause stress on your body. Okay. Now, if you are somebody who is hitting CrossFit every single day, I'm going to ask you to not take your Ionic Supreme necessarily before bed, unless you have like insomnia issues. But if you don't and you sleep normally really fine and your energy levels are pretty good, I would like you to take your Ionic Supreme after your extreme workout. And the reason is, is because if you are an extreme athlete, our Olympians use the Ionic Supreme after their workouts to lower the stress on their body and the cortisol release from that stressful workout. Okay. So our whole point here is to get your adrenal glands to come back down and to quit the cortisol releases. Okay. So we want to just minimize that as much as possible. All right. So if you're somebody who's in the gym and you're working out, 
you can take your Ionic Supreme after your workout. If you take it in the morning anyways, I mean, you're working out in the morning, great. If you're going to take it at nighttime, make sure you are darn well finished with the screens because if you take it in your evening workout and then you go home, you're going to be up till three o'clock in the morning, I guarantee it, okay? So um, healthy workouts for people who are never used to moving their body, go for a walk in the morning with some really nice music on and move your body, okay? Um, and sometimes you can do this before your first shake. This is what I used to do. I get up in the morning, have a green tea. I take my, um, uh, my Ionic Supreme and I go for a walk for about an hour, sometimes two hours, depending on the time that I had. I come back and I'd have my shake. Okay. Um, intermittent fasting as well. If this is somebody, if you're somebody who wants to try this, you can compress the times that you're having your shakes and your meals into a shorter period of time during the day. So say um, for me, I intermittent fast till my body is hungry. Sometimes in the morning, I don't want to wake up and have a shake or a, a smoothie bowl because I'm up at five or six or seven o'clock in the morning. And I'm, that makes me nauseous to eat that early. So I wait until my body's ready. So I'll have a hot drink, but I won't have my shake until today. I had my first smoothie bowl at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And I'm not saying that you need to do this. I'm saying if you want to try this, try having your meals in a shorter period of time. We ate at what, six o'clock today? So I ate between two and 6 p.m. today. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but that's just what I did, okay? It's not always like that. I would say if you're starting out with intermittent fasting, shorten your food window to eight hours. Six hours if you're really crazy, okay? But eight hours. And now if you're a diabetic, do not do this. Keep your um, snacks throughout the day and keep your shakes sort of spread out so that you are balancing your blood sugars. Certain people listening to this call, you know who you are. <laughs> okay, so um, just keep that in mind. So those are my hot tips right now. Um, if anybody else that has been doing the system for the same amount of time or a year and they have some hot tips they wanna add, um, go ahead. Anybody? This is a recording for people that are getting started. Do you have any hot tips? Just consistency, I guess. Yeah. You know, if you want to, if you want to have results, you have to be consistent. Yeah. And it's good to have someone cheering you on. Like Monday is like, Ooh, who's cleansing? And it's like, yeah, I'm cleansing and you got support. So yeah, that's always encouraged. Well, today is Wednesday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, we can all do our cleanse days on Mondays together. Mm -hmm. Right. And so we can in the chat, you know, and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm so afraid. Type that in the chat and we'll be like, we're with you, girl. Like you got this. And then everybody like, and then we can cheer you on in the evening when you've hit all your goals, you know, or midday. And you're like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Somebody's like frying burgers outside and I'm going to lose my mind. Type that in the chat. Okay. This is a, this is a real thing. We do have a 30 day challenge chat going on right now. So we don't have to blow up missions for life. That's our, that's our group chat for our team, which we post about um, meetings or calls that are happening in there or put in health for life. Okay. So health for life or the 30 day um, challenge chat is where you're going to have those conversations. Um, Sarah, do you have anything you want to add? Any hot tips? Uh, yeah. I just think with the exercise thing, just be consistent with what you are. Don't try to overboard yeah. something that you've never done before. Yeah. Don't go like a mad man or mad woman because you will throw your body into shock yeah. and you'll be starving and because you're lowering your caloric intake with this. And oh, one hot tip, hmm. depending on um, who you are, um, I'm just an average weight woman, right? And these, this whole program is something like 1400 calories per day. Mm -hmm. Um, and so if you are a bigger man, you may want to increase yeah. by 200 calories, mm -hmm. uh, and then your body doesn't go into starvation mode quite as easily. Yeah. So depending on, point. on your weight or what you're doing, if you're lifting weights yeah. or you're wanting to be a bodybuilder, or you're just a really huge muscly person yeah. or bigger person, you may want to just yeah. throw in that extra shake or extra snack from your pack or whatever. Yeah. That's a good tip. You know, and especially you guys in those snacks, remember protein at every meal, every time you eat, 
add some protein to it. This doesn't mean that you have to go in and eat a chicken breast every snack. It means that you want to have a healthy protein. Like we said, there's nut butters, there's eggs, there is beans, there is um, meats. <laughs> Me. sorry it's a joke we have <laughs> it's, a, it's a comedian anyways um so there's different types of things you can have cheeses you can have if you are somebody who is trying to cut um down on weight then you want to have lean proteins okay so uh turkey is a really good one uh you know chicken breast is a really good one um uh bowl of quinoa <laughs> quinoa and beans that's a really good one okay but we're talking snacks here or meals here but um for a man who like sarah is saying you might want to incorporate a little bit more protein at your snacks to keep you fuller longer so say i would have an egg and a pickle you would have two eggs right if uh if mom's gonna have a, a roll up with some cheese in it or something that's fine maybe you would have two or three of those okay so it's just whatever you're needing for keeping you full. You should not be hungry on this program. If you are, please reach out to one of your leaders or reach out to somebody who's invited you. I would have a personal conversation with you and help alter the system so it works for you. But remember, a lot of the time we are people who overeat in our society. So you might not be actually hungry. You might be thirsty. So one hot tip. If you're hungry, go and drink a cup of tea, go and drink a, a bottle of water and then wait 10 minutes. If you're still hungry after that, go and have a snack, okay? So I think that's about everything. Um, we have support every Monday for you guys. So if you wanna join in on our Monday calls, they're gonna be posted on Health for Life and in our Missions for Life team, all right? So Health for Life is our Facebook, Facebook group uh, missions for life is our chat and I'll post it in the 30 day challenge as well. Um, we also have uh, private coaching. So if you're struggling and you really need extra support, reach out and we will jump in and encourage you and help to reset some of your goals or help you to alter it, to make it work well for you. And, uh, there's also tons of support in the isobody group. So make sure, take your pictures tonight. I've already taken mine. I got my mom to take them for me on my phone. I'm going to go and take my weight right now. Oh, last thing, really important. You want to take your before and after photos, your measurements. Okay, so this is in your welcome guide. You want to take your arm measurement underneath your, your above your chest, your bust, your waist, all of that. You want to write it down in the little journal or your guide and make sure you track your process. Okay, Guar guaranteeing you after every cleanse day, go and weigh yourself and take your measurements. Okay every cleanse day, every week, do your measurements. I guarantee you will see results. And it's so encouraging when you do, when you're like, wow, I lost three inches off my waist in a week, or, you know, wow, I'm down 8.5 inches off um, my butt and, and my legs and, you know, whatever all together, or wow, my weight is dropping, or, or you might look in the mirror and say, I don't see any results at all. But then you take your photo and you see the way your clothes are fitting and you're not going off the scale so much because muscle weighs more than fat and your body might be getting muscle. You don't know, right? But go by the way your clothes are fitting and, and your before and after picture. Take a photo every week after your cleanse day and watch the process as your body shifts. This is what my friend did to me. She forced me to stand there in my underwear, take my photo, number one, I hated her for it. She forced me into the living room after my first double cleanse day. After six days, I was down 8.5 inches and eight and a half inches off or 8.5 pounds and eight and a half inches off my waist, eight and a half inches in six days, you guys, because I was so inflamed. Okay. So when she took my photo week one, I went, there's no way you're going to see a difference. And it was like astronomical. Okay. So keep that in mind. This is for you. It's not for anybody else. It's for you to see those results, okay? So um, yeah, make sure you get all of that done tonight and load it in your Isolife app. If you've never done your Isolife app before, I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like really quick. Um, here is the Isolife app right here. So you're gonna wanna download this onto your phone. 
you're going to have a login. So I'm going to just type your login. It's going to be a username and password, which is super weird because I'm logged out. Katrina Marie Karens. All right, here we go. All right, so um, there, I'm logged in. And as you log in, you guys are wanting to use this app for your tracker. You can enter your cleanse days in there. You can enter your isobody challenge in there. You can even update your next orders that are in there. Um, for some reason, my app is giving me a weird, I must have spelled my name wrong. There we go. Okay, order. Come on. Okay, so in here, this is gonna be like your personal tracker. It's even linked to your products, calories, food. It's like, um, if you guys have ever used, what's that app called again? Um, My Fitness Pal. It's just like that. It's like it's logged in here. You're also gonna have free workouts. That leads me to, I'm gonna share my screen really quick. And the fellowship. So if you are just getting started on this and you've never been introduced to um, the fact that we have tons of support, we have this thing called the Isogenics Wellbeing Collective, okay? So as you go through here, you're gonna have leaders from all different types of um, backgrounds in the world from mental health, financial health, personal well-being, community, physical well-being. And you can go in here and read these articles for support for yourself. I'm gonna encourage you to take a look at this at least once a week and read one article a week or one uh, every other day, because this is really gonna help to reset your mental um, mindset, everything about that, okay? Now, if you scroll to the bottom, you're gonna see watch, and these are master classes by these people who have come to join Isogenics to really help you get the best results and workouts. So you can click on workouts here. And uh, yeah, I am right here. And uh, can you guys all see this okay? Yeah. Okay, great. So here's your workout. So week number one, workout number one, this is going to be your workout if you want to get some help. Now, remember, if you've never done a workout before and you want to give this a try, I don't suggest doing these every day. Okay. I suggest doing them maybe three times a week and on your off days, go for a gentle walk. Okay. If you're just getting started now, there's nothing wrong with introducing a workout into your regime. If you've never you know, you don't have a regime or you're doing a workout already that works for you. Just stick with what you're doing. But if you really want to do this, you can just incorporating it like throughout your week. And then week two, go to workout number two and do that three times a week or something like that. But make sure you give yourself rest days and don't work out on your cleanse days. Okay. So um, your Isolife app, here's what it looks like. You're going to log in and you're going to go to your little person here at the very bottom and you're going to scroll down to, um, oh, sorry, I did that wrong. Let's see here. Okay, you're going to go to this little clipboard here at the bottom. Um, they just rebuilt a lot of this and you're going to go enroll in an isobody challenge. Now in here, it's got your carb, your protein, your fat tracker. This is all linked up, your personal goals and everything, how you're feeling. So you can go through this and examine your Isolife app, get used to it, and then start using that a day. When you tell your the your sponsor how you're feeling and you say you're having a bad day and you hit submit, this is gonna go to your upline and it's gonna tell them that you're you're needing some assistance. Okay, so your upline will see this and reach out to you and say, Hey girl, what's going on? You can actually message or hey guy, what's going on? And you can actually message each other. You can set your shake days up in here and your cleanse days up in here to keep on track your fitness for the day you can enter and everything's trackable. So this is going to be your personal assistant through your day to get the best results. Okay. Um, now available programs is going to be where you're going to enroll in the isobody. So you're going to click this little button down here and go enroll in an isobody challenge. So register now here is where you're going to put the date that you start, which is going to be now your measurements. You're going to enter your weight and then you're going to hit submit. And then it's going to ask you to take a photo. You can take it right there and it's going to time stamp it for you. So you don't have to worry about time stamping them anymore. You submit it and bam, you're entered into the Isobody challenge. Okay. So if you guys have any other questions or you need some help or you need some coaching, just reach out to the person who's invited you into this challenge because they're going to be your sponsor 
and they're going to be your uh, accountability. Okay. But if you guys need any help at all, or you're watching this recording afterwards and you really need some assistance and uh, you just need some accountability, I'm happy to help keep you accountable. Sarah is happy to keep you accountable. My mom, even Jason, we're all here for you guys. And we're all happy to cheer you on every single step of the way. Okay, so that's it for this this call for this evening. We've reached our hour limit and we're going to shut it down. But thank you guys so, so much for joining us. We're watching this recording. And like I said, if you need any assistance, just reach out to us. But um, I'm very excited for the 30 day challenge for you guys. Let's take our photos and let's see some incredible transformations. All right. Okay, have a great night. We'll see you guys later. Bye.